Thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and this is the Power Talk Show. Now before we took our very short break, we were having a conversation on toxic marriages and relationships. We're trying to understand how can you tell when your relationship is becoming toxic? And joining me live on set is Juliet Gikunda and Reverend Evan Skocho. So I want you to go on our social media platforms right now and write to me. Give me an experience. Give me any piece of advice that you've had that has helped you get through the toxic relationships. And if you're dealing with or you know someone who's dealing with it, let us know and we will sample that as we progress. Now, before we went on our short break, we were just outlining some of the traits of toxicity. And the main thing that we got was the foundation is important. The foundation of the individuals, their upbringing, their childhood, that is very important. And while we were on break, Juliet was giving us a very interesting story about your personal experience. So that was based on what you've concluded. You learned the hard way yes. that you have to take note of the red flags before they become worse. Because eventually, red, the, the color of blood is red. Mm. It can cost your life. Mm. It can cost your children's life, your mental sanity, mm. and all of that. Mm. So I want us to understand. We've, we've highlighted some of the traits of a toxic relationship. Mm. But now what does a healthy relationship look like? Right. Reverend, could you kindly give us a guide? I think even before we get to the healthy relationship, <coughs> Men can hide any other thing. People can hide so many things. But nobody can hide who she is or who he is for a long time. Yeah, sure. they will, it will manifest in one way or the other. Mm. And young people that we talk to today must learn that yeah. these things will come. And when you see them, don't think that they will change. Mm. Oh, for example, uh, a very good girl of mine, a spiritual daughter, was dating a young man, and one time she told me that what? I want to test this man, I want to know who this man is. So he said we should meet in town by three, I want to go to town at five. Wow. <laughs> and my good girl did her best and uh, waiting somewhere, just appearing in that hotel by five. The man was red, <laughs> mad. Who are you? You mean you can keep me? Waiting all these hours? Yeah. The, the girl was like, oh, it was jam, please, understand. No, 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 me. And all those agitations, it was turning ugly. So the ma girl managed to cool him down. Then wait for the waiter to come and ask for the, you know, what will you take? And the waiter comes with another thing that was not said. My oh. goodness, a slap on the waiter. Oh. And uh, the girl said, wait a minute, did you slap her? Yes, so what? Do you care so much about her than me? And the girl said, you're a good man. You're generous. You're handsome. You are cute. Oh, you are the figure one day. You are tall, dark, handsome, all those things. But you're a good man for another woman, not me. Not wow. me. Thank God. Why? Not because you are a bad person. You belong to somebody else, but to me, this is not what I can sign for. Yeah. Because I've seen who you are. If you can handle somebody right in front of me, and I'm also a woman like this, and you've, you are just agitated like this about my lateness, the same way you are going to handle me in the marriage. That's true. So this is over, and I'm calling the past that is over. That is how she called me yeah. and told me this thing is over. So these things will manifest. But now, having said that, there is a way you can tell when the relationship is healthy. One thing we need to understand that a relationship between two people is a union of two forgivers. Mm -hmm. When you are coming together, come with the packaged with the forgiveness boxes and boxes and boxes because this person will offend you. Mm. And we don't mean when we talk about this red flag, we don't mean that you are going to be married or seeing a perfect man, a perfect woman. These are imperfect human beings. They will always have mistakes left and right. But you're able to tell this one is a mistake, but this one is a character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we must be in an environment where we are able to forgive each other. Opinion of each other counts. When I say no, you are able to give me a room to explain my no. You don't need to say, no, you don't, can't say, no, I'm the man here. No, no, no. 
-hmm. You need to give me room to explain my no. And you can also be having that room to explain your yes. Yeah. So our, both our opinions are counting. Then again, we are goal-oriented. We are able to set our things and, uh, you know, say we, this is where we want to go. I was telling our youth that I don't uh, be part of a relationship where you are dating somebody's daughter for six years. Somebody's daughter is not a medical course that you do for six <laughs> years. Yeah, you must be oriented. You must tell me, uh, yes, we are in this journey. Where are we going? For how long? And uh, what are the plans? Mm -hmm. These things must come out clear and we are able to express ourselves. We are able to, you know, discuss, have this that freedom. We are able to be having transparency when it comes to finances, when it comes to these issues of childbearing. Uh, how many ki kids do you want? You know, we are able to discuss those things freely. Yeah. Ah, I need 10. I'm a lawyer. Yeah, or I'm a lawyer. I need 10 because I'm looking for votes of Baba, you know. I need to gather some votes <laughs> very well for Baba. Uh, we need to agree. And Juliet needs to tell me that, no, I, I, I just need two. Mm. And this is why I need two. And we can come to both an agreement. To me, that is a healthy relationship where everybody has a voice. Yeah. Everybody is able to give advice. Nobody is demeaned because she is a woman. Nobody is demeaned because you are having a diploma, I'm having a master's. We can have a diploma and a master's and we can still agree and have a common goal. Yeah. To me, that is a healthy relationship. And I think as you were explaining that, in mm. my mind the word union came Mm. very clearly because mm. that is a union mm. you are in unison mm. you agree mm. on and you have respect right. for each other mm. and essentially i think even if we go back to the the holy book mm. that is what marriage is described as right. there is a guide you know when people people do not understand mm. the bible has a guide for everything mm. there is a guide for how to be a better man how to be a better husband a better father mm. even a better wife and the kind of woman you need to be and the kind of man you need to be. Mm. There is an important aspect that you've talked about, mutual respect. Mm. It's not about this one brings 50K, this one brings 150K. Mm. You know, and those are the small things that people avoid to talk about while they're dating mm. that will manifest in future. That's right. Juliet, Pastor has given us a very clear example of someone testing mm -hmm. their better half mm -hmm. to see Kama if this is truly someone I can settle with or not. And from that, it was very. I congratulate that lady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's watching now. You know, I, uh, congratulations to you because she evaded so many troubles in future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, do you think we should test our partners? Oh yes, my friend. Mm. One even of the key thing that makes me become your friend, is how you relate even with the juniors. Yeah. It is how yeah. even you handle that cleaner. That's You're right. walking in in that hospital and that cleaner is cleaning, you need to excuse yourself. Mm -hmm. You just walk. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, there are small things that, one of the key things that Evans has spoke about is character. It can never hide forever. Yeah. The unspoken things will start Zina too. Zina mm -hmm. So ask yourself, but sometimes you are so in love that our eyes are like brighted and we need to pray God to make love not to be bright because we are so brighted to see these small, small things. How the person shout to that makanga in that vehicle you are, yeah. tears you are wrote. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know? As in, <laughs> how the person become illiterate? As in a small thing, make Which that triggers person them. triggers them. Mm. There is a new trauma. And one of the key things we need to understand is we, we, if we don't heal, I was listening to someone and they said, if we don't heal and address an, our childhood trauma, we trigger them even in our marriage. Everything yeah. becomes, you know, a it's bomb. Yeah. And that's what you realize, you, even in our workplaces or places we live with friends, there's someone, kakituka dogo tu, inafanyanga na ashalipuka. You gotta ask yourself why. And even you say sorry and like keep that sorry for yourself. If it reaches that point, no. So one of the key things I'll say, if there's something that you need to do and not so over test, but test and test. show. Because you, you mentioned something that is very clear in most of our relationship and marriages. We have in projects in the house. You are trying to mold. Mm. You're trying to want this woman to be like your mother. She cannot be your mother. 
You are trying to bond this woman to be like your ex-girlfriend. She cannot be like that person. You are trying to bond this man to be like your father. He can't be. It is until God and maybe you two agree like, you know what, I think we two need help. Yeah. We, need, we, need, we need mentorship, we need counseling. We, yeah. not one person. Yeah. We. Collectively. Collectively. And you see that's bringing me back to uh, yeah. another topic yeah. I want to ask. Yeah. But on that note of... Uh, taking people as projects. Kuna projects zenye kweli unaona uyu atabadilika. But kuna projects zenye unaona for real this one is a lost case. Because the people who are receptive, you will tell them, you know, on this and this date, you raised your voice at me and I didn't feel nice about it. And they will actually amend their habit. So you can tell when you mention something, your concerns are relevant in the relationship. It's not just... Mm. So there are those nakuna zenye nimbaya to they are not receptive completely. Mm. Now uh, there was uh, we gave a situation of someone who grew up in a household where the man could not lift a finger to do anything mm. and the woman was doing everything. And we get another partner who grew up where the father would go to the kitchen, cook for them even once in a while. Mm. The mom would get some days where she's relaxing. Can these two people find themselves in a marriage and make it work? Juliet, <laughs> do you think the two can make it work in a relationship? The two can make it work if they agree to speak in one voice. Um, um, I, I speak on an example. I've grown up seeing even my dad making breakfast for us. But you need, you, oh, if I can give your kitchen, you make the breakfast and bring for you. I've grown up in a place whereby I can see two taking the responsibility. Mm. So... The upbringing yet when you listen from the word being, culture zetu ni tofauti. Like if you go to Wajaluo, Kikuyu, Melu, this is the way they do their things. Yeah. But there's commonality in one of the key things. When you two come together and say, you know what, I've been brought up this way, I've been brought up this way, but this is not what I want. This is what we want to discuss. What do we want? What do we have agreements? Will we be taking turns? What are the bills? What are our do's and don'ts? Yeah. You have a guideline mm -hmm. and a, an, 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 a line that draws you back together. Sometimes you find even relationship and marriage, sometimes you forgot what you agreed or disagreed. But one of the key things I noted when Evans was speaking is we need to have a healthy relationship whereby she, we can disagree to agree yeah. with respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can disagree to agree with getting to this kitchen with respect. It is my responsibility as a woman to do the duties. But also you can help. It is the responsibility of this man to pay the school fees. Monday is coming and the friends are here and everything is happening. Yeah. It is his responsibility to pay the bills and the school fees. But it doesn't mean he has to be stressed. Yeah. It is also my responsibility if we call share. Yeah. Meaning... If we embrace our two cultures and say, look, Evans and Julia, this is what we want to do. Mm. This is what we think when I work with us. Mm. Yeah. It is possible to do that. Mm. But sometimes uh, we always turn uh, with also example, the first two years in married three, five years, it is where everyone is trying to brand him to yeah. try to see what will work for ourselves. Mm. Yeah, it's doable, but also it takes two to tackle. And that brings us back to what Evans was saying. It's about the union, yes. mutual respect for each other. Mm -hmm. So let me go to the comments. This is on Facebook, and then we will get back to it. Yeah. Don Dada says, is when someone started using red flag words. And our question was, how can you tell a relationship is becoming toxic? Mm -hmm. So Don Dada has said, it's when someone starts using red flag words. And that is true. Um, uh, we have Rieng Wamuranga who says, when you both are not financially stable, more so you have children okay i think that's also important because the finances are very important in a relationship mm. uh, paul chemrot says when there is no balance 50 50 on the basics of marriage okay then we have virginia kangonga who says following from kiambu city thank you so much for watching us and the way we've gotten some different perspectives, we will come back to that, especially the finances and the gender roles about the, the balance of the 50-50. But before that, Juliet brought about having someone, a mentor to guide you. Uh, Reverend, 
I know that it is, as you've given the example, you have someone, a spiritual daughter, mm. who came to you for advice throughout mm. the relationship, even before they got to marriage. Mm. So do you think it's very important for partners mm. to involve a, a, maybe an external party, a professional, a therapist, or a reverend to advise them, especially on matters regarding a relationship that is healthy mm. and rooted in the, the right foundation? Uh, relationship is healthy when it is managed uh, properly. To some extent, I would say that you don't need to treat a relationship like a plot of land you bought in Kitangela. <laughs> you need to be having an accountability partner mm -hmm. that you can undress. I, use, I want to use that word, mm -hmm. undress yourself meaning is able to know both your worst and your best and is still believes still believes in you and you're able to share this this particular man who is coming in my life is looking like this these are the things and uh, according to my expectation these are the three things i've got it right and these three are not so right uh we are knowing each other what do you think then this person is able to walk you through the journey look in the bible everywhere Somebody, every great man, every great woman is a product of a particular man. Mm -hmm. God made things in a way that, um, let me put it this way, all blessings come from God through men to men. Mm -hmm. All bad things will come from Satan through men to, to men. men. In either way, man is a midwife of destiny. So you like it or not, you need somebody. There are these people who say, me, I don't need somebody. So long yeah. as I have my salary, I have my life to live, I can tell you. Maishaku ni maishaku, but wakati yo maisha itakusukuma kwa wall, you look for us. Yeah. Get to have somebody who can walk you through the journey. I like what my numbers do. When you meet the numbers coming from Kiambu and the ones from Nairobi, then they, there are some signs they use. Yeah. But I'm going to Police are going So that Ujiami. Mm. Meaning, you are talking to somebody who is coming from where you are going. You want to know if things are okay. So it is right, it is good, it is healthy to have a mentor. It is good to have an accountability partner. Check the Bible. Elisha had Elijah. Esther had Mordecai. Uh, Ruth had Naomi. Mm. And uh, Timothy had a Paul. Yeah. These people are products of another person. Mm. So you need to have this person who is guiding and, and uh, you need not to have somebody who is uh, of your age. Because this person knows the things that you know. Yeah. You need to know at least somebody who knows the things you don't know. A friend of mine co called uh, Elisha Dero, pastor, told me that if you want to be a great man, learn to climb on the shoulders of men who are taller than you. Yeah. Because when you climb on their shoulders, you can see yeah. the things yeah. they see. Yeah, and more. So it is good to have somebody walking you through the journey, giving you principles to live by, and you are safe. Mm. And if you ignore these things, the same same people you ignore will run to when things are now biting you. Yeah, that one is a rule you cannot have, uh, mm. evade. Mm. Yeah, so it is and good to have a mentor. And you see, that, that reminds me of the quote, mm. prevention is better than cure. That's right. Because once you prevent and once you can talk about mm. these matters, especially with a professional, because mm. who don't even have the experience. Mutu amama sa break wa relationship stano. Nafuna mbia, hali juli, sasa hapa nifanyaje. Sama, eh, hasikulete. Achana na eh. And this person just wants, it's, it's lonely in that, that yeah. space of... Uh, being single, being and single, it's lonely. They want somebody who will join. Yeah, and there are these people who will deliberately misadvise you to join them in their foolishness or in their loneliness. Yeah. So you need to know you are talking to who. Do you talk to somebody who have your success at heart? Yeah. Somebody who believes in your destiny mm -hmm. and is able to build you even when he, she, he or she is not going to gain anything. Yeah. But she believes, he is able to guide you mm -hmm. and tell you this is what you need to do, this is what you don't need to do. Mm -hmm. This is what you need to find out from that man. And uh, these people, you ignore them at your own peril. Mm. Yeah. I like that. Mm. That is very well said. And I hope someone has captured th that mm. from uh, our viewers. Mm. So as we're bringing the conversation to an end, because time, we were talking about when you tunafa to time. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's talk about, especially in marriages, the situations where children are involved. 
they're present in a relationship that is toxic or it is very negative. So Juliet, as a child psychologist, could you tell us briefly the impact of a toxic relationship Teacher. on the kids? Because mm. so many people want to hold on because of the children. They're like, mm. I'm here for the kids. What is the impact on the children? Thank you so much, Blessing, for that question because it's something I'm now dealing with the teenagers and some of the people in university and people want to get married. One of the key things that will affect our children is unnewed trauma, yeah. unnewed issues, issues that are not resolved. And they're trying to find out why was my dad so cruel to my mom? Why was my mom treating my dad so cruel like you get it. Yeah. So there are so many unanswered questions in their mind. And when they grow up, they try to find so many answers in their mind. And one of the key things we need to note, even as parent, and as I mentioned it earlier, but when the fire starts between us and the parent, the most people get affected with the smoke are the children. Yeah. And what happened with the smoke, you know, wakati unasha mjiko, kamoshi kananzanga kadogo, kidogo unaanza kupepeta inaanza kuwa moshi inaanza kuwa kubwa so the more toxic we becoming the more abusive we are becoming the more whatever we are becoming in that house your moshi inaendelea nani wanakunywa hiyo moshi kwa nyumba the children so let me tell you what happened when they start dating and when they get in these marriages and these relationship wanaanza kutoa ile moshi Mm. They start becoming, as they're calling bitterness, that she, you didn't bring the bitterness to that man you're dating. They exhale it. They exhale it. Mm. They're having an issue that are resolved, not because of you. It is past issues that are not dealt with. Yeah. They're becoming from the foundation. Mm. So my prayer would be, one of the notes I came to realize, you can have a man, you can, you can have a boy who can make a very good dad, but a very bad husband. Yeah. So you better have and pray to have a better husband than even a good dad. Mm. Because a better husband will give birth to a good dad. Mm. And will give birth to something. A better mom will give birth to a better wife somewhere. Yeah. You, you get it. It is a character. It's, it is something that it's a character that comes mm. back as you're growing up. And I like that you've said that because even based on the example itself, it's a fire that you're assuming it's just the two of you who are consumed. Mm -hmm. You will ignore the smoke. Because when you're in the <coughs> furnace, you cannot tell there is smoke all mm -hmm. around you. Yes. So I think as our time is coming to a close, we can end the discussion there. Clearly, we need to talk about this in length. So we will have another conversation that is an extended part of this. Because I know we have part left two. out so two. much. We need a part two of this I conversation. I a few things I wanted to say. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And be, please, before we close, yes. never be afraid to walk out when it is toxic. Yeah. The Bible says, love yourself as you love your neighbor. So love begins from yourself. You. Yeah. So before you care for others, care for yourself. Mm -hmm. And when things are getting worse, never be afraid to walk out. And when you walk out, have somebody to guide you. And before you move on, please find time to heal. Because if you don't heal... You'll Your bleed rage. on the next relationship. Yes. yes. Thank God bless you. you. I think that's a wonderful parting shot. So we will end our conversation there for today. Stick to Y254 TV. We have so many more interesting programs. A repeat of this will air tomorrow between 1 and 2 p.m. And we will have this on YouTube so you can watch us there. Thank you so much for watching us tonight. My name is Cheryl Blessing and this has been the Power Talk Show.